Hey guys, this is Jamie with Compressorsource.com. This video is all about check valves. What is a check valve? How do you know if it's functioning properly and does it need to be replaced? We are going to answer all those questions, so let's dive in. In front of me, I have a wide range of check valves. This is not every check valve, check valve that's made, but it is a very good variety of the most common ones that we sell. So hopefully, in this video, you can relate to one of them and get your questions answered. First off, we're gonna start with, how do I tell if I need to replace my check valve? So there's two reason or two ways to tell what that looks like. So on the side of this pressure switch, there's an unloader. So this unloader valve is what releases the pressure between the check valve and the head of the compressor. So when that compressor goes to turn on, it can start load free. There's no pressure against the pistons or the head of the compressor. There can also be an unloader on the front of a pump. So if it doesn't have an unloader on the side of the pressure switch, it can be on the front of the pump, which also internally loads, unloads the pressure on the head of the compressor when the compressor shuts off. So if you ever have your compressor shut off and continues to bleed air and does not stop out of the unloader valve, that is a definite sign that your check valve either is bad or has something caught in it. One of those two reasons. If it's newer, it's more than likely gonna be some piece of debris caught in it, but if it's an older compressor, most likely it's going to need to be replaced. So if this unloader bleeds air continu continuously when the compressor shuts off, it's gonna be your check valve. That is the only way for this unloader valve, whether it's on the pressure switch or on the pump itself, to continue to bleed air. If this is functioning properly, what that looks like, is when this switch shuts the compressor off, it's going to bleed air out of this unloader for just a couple seconds. So it's gonna go and stop. That's just unloading the pressure in that main line coming from the pump to the tank. So once you know that and you say, hey, my check valve, that it's definitely my check valve, because a lot of times people think it's the pressure switch that's bad and it has nothing to do with the pressure switch. They replace the pressure switch and then have the same problems. So in front of me, is a series of check valves. We're gonna start with the smallest and work our way up. So this is an eighth inch inline check valve. This has no unloader port because of the size of it. There is a few compressors that are small that internally unload that would use this. Otherwise, there are sometimes fittings down the line that where the unloader goes into instead of being uh, actually the unloader going into the check valve. So this would be an eighth inch inline check valve. The next two I want to talk about are these two. These are obviously different sizes, but two different styles of inline check valves. This is a cast inline check valve. This is a machined brass inline check valve. They both have a poppet inside that seals uh, the air coming back to the head of the compressor. The difference is this one is serviceable. This one is not. If this goes bad, you throw it away. If this goes bad, you can just switch the whole unit out or you can get the parts to fix this internally. Most of the time though, I recommend replacing the whole thing, especially if it's older, because you never know what condition the, the brass seat is in that that poppet seats against. So there's a chance you're gonna replace all the insides and have the same issue. Both have unloader holes on them where there's typically a quarter inch line coming from the unloader, whether it's on the pump or the check valve or the pressure switch to the side of the check valve. That's what you're gonna see there. So these are standard inline check valves that can do the job on most any compressor. If you're building a compressor, a lot of people use these because you can put them pretty much anywhere. There's gonna be in-tank check valves. So what that looks like, you're gonna have male pipe thread into the tank of the compressor. You're gonna either have compression threads, female pipe threads, a flare fitting, or on Ingersoll Rand is an inverted flare. So it's just a female flare basically on Ingersoll Rand, but you usually don't see that on any compressor but Ingersoll Rand. You're just going to have to know what thread size you need. All these do the exact same thing, just different thread configurations. With this, this is an import style check valve. You're going to see a lot of these on imported compressors. You can actually unscrew this cap and service it just like you can this one. One thing you want to keep in mind, anytime servicing an air compressor, you have to make sure that there's no air in the tank. So anytime you go to work on a compressor, make sure to bleed all the air and leave a valve open on the tank so there's no pressure inside there. That's very important from a safety perspective. But you can service this or take this apart to see what's wrong with the check valve internally. You're gonna have your male threads into the tank and then this is at a 90 degree angle where your inlet pipe comes into this check valve and also has an unloader. These come in lots of different thread configurations as well. 
you're going to have this. This is a check valve pilot valve combination on a gas power compressor. This is going to have the check valve built into this, but the pilot valve also controls the throttle of the engine. So this is something you're going to see on a gas powered compressor. Lastly, you're going to have a load genie. So this is a little bit different than these check valves in the fact that it unloads itself. So these are not as common, but on a lot of compressors, especially in the 90s, when they wanted to save some money, make things easier, easier to assemble, they use a check valve like this that's self unloading. So this does not need an unloader on a pressure switch or the pump. When this gets up, when the compressor shuts off on this valve, there's a cylinder in here that goes back and unloads the pressure out of this a little tiny hole on the side of this unit. So when it goes to start up, it can start load free. These are very finicky, are by far the most unreliable check valve there is, but on, mo on some compressors, you have no choice but to use these, and that's called a load genie. We have these in many different thread configurations as well. One thing to note, which come, gets very confusing uh, when it comes to check valves is thread size. We have another video on thread sizing, which if you're not sure how to measure threads, definitely check that out. But a lot of people will take a tape measure, measure across the threads, and it measures an inch in diameter. So they'll go order a one inch MPT check valve. That is not the case. So this valve right here is three quarter pipe going into the tank. This measures one inch in diameter, but it's actually three quarter inch MPT. So as a reference, if you're measuring male pipe thread, it's going to measure about a quarter of an inch larger than the actual thread size. So make sure you order the right thread size. You can call us or visit our website with any questions. Uh, we are always happy to help. We'd rather have you get the right part the first time than having to spend all the money and time shipping it back and forth. So hopefully this video answers a lot of your check valve questions and you can go fix the compressor, get back up and running and get back to business. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you next time.